In my opinion, the byproduct of internet electronic trading, it is creating more stability in the world. Stability meaning sharing wealth, but also sharing resources. If you didn't have these traders trading every day, it would be very unstable. When you have traders trading against a particular commodity, it stabilizes the entire pricing scheme because it's a very efficient marketplace. Whenever there's a change, there's a reaction to the change. So the more people that you have trading throughout the world with different perspectives, the more stable the overall price of commodities will be. Good evening. This is an extraordinary period for America's economy. Over the past few weeks, many Americans have felt anxiety about their finances and their future. I understand their worry and their frustration. We've seen triple-digit swings in the stock market. Major financial institutions have teetered on the edge of collapse, and some have failed. As uncertainty has grown, many banks have restricted lending. Credit markets have frozen, and families and businesses have found it harder to borrow money. We are in the midst of a serious financial crisis. Um, yeah, it's 350 points down in the Dow again today after, you know, it was positive several times. The S&P's rallied 50 points in the morning and ended up down 30, and, and, and the markets are under extreme pressure. The world is on fire right now. Listen to the siren. I mean, does that sum it up? It's probably every city in America sounds just like that. How's it going? Dude, he's not 4,500 bucks. It's nasty, dude. Yeah. It, and awesome, you know. But it's weird. You have to be patient, but then the patience has to turn into incredible decisiveness, you know. Right. If you you got to be patient. Like, let it happen. It's coming. This is a price I can use. And then the, the boom, you got to just hit it so fast. You know, and where I want to get in is where that stop is. Just, damn, well, you know. Is starting to do something here, so. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. The big announcement was earlier in the day when we had the interest rate, a worldwide interest rate reduction which is pretty unprecedented. Even with that amazing moment, which would, in normal times, rally markets, you know, rally Dow market, the Dow probably 500 points, we're looking at a, uh, a negative down day still. And you can look at the S&Ps. This is on the, the first, that, that first initial reaction. And of course, they overshoot that. Everybody's looking for a way to get out. So I think what we're hoping is for it to rally, but <laughs> the entire planet is, you know. It's, it's a whole global effort now. It's not just us. You know, the, it's just, we affect it. We're a big part of the global economy. So they don't want us to fail. They, don't, they can't have our dollar fail because we're a consumer nation. Uh, so uh, if our dollar's doing bad, they're gonna do bad. What's your role in all this? I ride the wave. That's all I do. You know, it's funny because I look back in the 80s and 90s, traders were the kings. The back office fellas and the computer boys, we would laugh at them. And they got their revenge. <laughs> 